Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Town Meeting TV. My name is Bobby Lucier, and today we're going to talk about something very near and dear to my heart, uh, baseball and baseball <laughs> in Vermont. And we're joined uh, by one of the uh, most uh, experienced uh, members of the community when it comes to Vermont baseball, uh, Don yeah. McDonald. Thank you so much for joining us today, Don. Yeah. I, um, we're going to be talking about... Um, Lake Monsters, University of Vermont baseball, and baseball around the state of Vermont. Exactly. And uh, <clears throat> Don, do you want to start by just talking a little bit about how you um, got into uh, baseball, baseball in Vermont yeah. and, and how you've tracked it in your life? Right. Uh, you're starting off like anybody. I played Little League ball. And uh, I was born in New Jersey, and uh, Orange, New Jersey. Grew up in South Orange, New Jersey, and uh, an athletic field was right across the street from where we grew up there. And uh, when I was about four or five years old, uh, my grandmother took me on a trip. Um, we had relatives in Montreal. We had relatives in northern New England, and uh, we eventually moved to Pulteney, uh, Vermont. Um, well, I was probably about 10 years old or something, you know. And uh, I've been involved in baseball in Burlington for a long time. Um, my, son's, my son played Little League all the way up through. And um, there was several things with baseball here in Burlington uh, that I got uh, involved with, more or less pressured in the... First off was Babe Ruth. Uh, my son was 12, and that's the, the name of the league. Is the Babe Ruth League? Yeah, it was the Babe Ruth League. Yeah, and it was uh, North Burlington. Yeah, it was North. It was Burlington Babe Ruth, and he had some problems with the previous year, and uh, that's basically how I got into the. Um, operation, I guess you'd say, of baseball, general manager type of thing. Um, and uh, and when was when was that that you got involved in the when he was twelve? Now there was when Andy was uh, had uh, Andy had a birthday at, at a time that uh, his birthday splits on the uh, age thing, you know, between right. Little so League and. and yeah. uh, Babe Ruth. Anyway, um, you know, they didn't have the coach. They didn't have a, they were looking for somebody to run the league, you know, as a president. And uh, I more or less got drafted into that deal. <laughs> but it was fine. It, was, it got along. We got through the year without any problems. And then um, the next year came along and the same thing, you know, need, needed coaches, needed uh, a little bit of this and that. Um, this was at the time when Bernie Sanders was running for mayor, and I was on the police department uh, at the time, and um, we had been trying to get a minor league baseball team in Burlington. We had some exhibition games uh, with Sherbrooke, Quebec, um, I'll say usually playing the Red Sox team, which at the time was New Britain. And this is the Eastern League. And um, we finally got a team uh, probably a couple of years after Bernie got elected. I'm not sure exactly, about 81 or so. And that was the Vermont Reds. And um, I went to work for them. Uh, and um, and they, were I, they affiliated with the major league club? Yeah, they were affiliated with the uh, Reds. The Cincinnati Reds. Uh, yeah. uh, Cincinnati Reds. And those years we did very well. They had um, championship teams. In the final year, uh, it was a five-year contract. Um, they had Ken, Ken Griffey Jr. was here. The Mariners had their... Uh, um, Minor league, they were the affiliate for one year, uh, the um, uh, uh, Seattle Mariners. And the um, next season we had, the, I got, 
there was a, got the Expos, uh, and uh, they they needed a guy to do the filming, uh, video work, and uh, I got offered. You know, they say, "Can you help us out?" And I used my buddy's camera, and we uh, started. Uh, video work on the uh, on the team. Were you and, filming for broadcast, or were you filming no, for um, the team? That was uh, I was basically employed by the uh, development department, and uh, as a videographer, and to uh, keep track of players, how they're doing. Yeah, well, yeah, you get uh, we we talk meet um, before every game, and then after every game, and. Um, there would be the, the, with the pitching coach, hitting coach, manager. Um, then you know you'd, you'd uh, get who you uh, were supposed to. You know you'd get a chart and you'd get get this information on the players that you're going to be working with. You know where they are in the lineup. When say when a pitcher's coming in, who's coming in for a second, you know that type of thing. Mm -hmm. That was interesting stuff. So yeah, got to the end of the first season, and um, and it was a Butch Hughes, I think it was. Yeah, um, I said you did pretty good. You know, he says you would you be interested in in this next year? I said yeah, if it's okay with my wife, you know, type of thing. You know, <laughs> and uh, so that's how that that got going. At the same time, I was. Uh, President of Burlington Babe Ruth Baseball, and mm -hmm. then uh, I took a state job. Let me think now. I think it was, uh, you know, district commissioner. That's right. At this point, we're at the in the nineties. Yeah, 80s, somewhere yeah, in there? yeah. in the nineties. Yeah. Okay. Up till actually, technically, <laughs> probably still. You know that. Uh, you know, it's kind of like the mob. <laughs> Once you're, you're in, in yeah. how long well, were you the, the man president? Minor league baseball, like I mean. You oh know, yeah. 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 I, I was uh, with the um, Expos, Nationals, um, for uh, 17 years. I was under contract, um, so, yeah. Yeah. And I still hang around the park, you know. <laughs> and so there was a minor league team. There was also a UVM varsity team varsity for team. a very long right. time. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the history yeah, that, of the Yeah, the UVM varsity team? at UVM went uh, was from uh, 18, started in 1888 we can put the finger on it as being that year mm -hmm. doing the mathematics of the guys on the team were you know four year students this kind of thing so uh, and UVM had some very good teams back at that time and I, and they have had right on through um, they uh, went to the World's Fair in 1893. Uh, I think they came in second in the uh, World's, in the national, basically national. Amos Alonzo Stack put that together. Um, a lot of baseball administrators of the day uh, put that on. And it was basically the f morphed into the NCAA back in 1906 or something. Uh, and uh, so you they, they were a pretty big deal team, UVM's oh, yeah. baseball team in the beginning. Oh, yeah. That, it, it was a major. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, again, the Ivy Leagues were big. And, mm -hmm. you know, you had Harvard, uh, Yale, you had Columbia, you had Dartmouth right down the road. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, so you had a, a lot of. Uh, um, it was a pretty big team back then. Sure. Um, UVM. Drop baseball first time would be in the 70s for a couple seasons and then brought it back. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, at this point in time, um, UVM has a club team and uh, does, does very well with mm -hmm. that club team. Um, but the big thing is you want to get varsity ball back, and that's right. So, when, really how, when did the varsity team? Get cut. Two, 2009. 2009. Yeah. It was, um, they claimed a budget, uh, you know, problem. And um, I 
there's a lot of luck to it, and I, I don't remember. I don't know a lot of it, and I don't really care. I don't really want to know. <laughs> you know, the politics is a thing. I don't sure. know. But and it's um, such a historic team. It was around for well, over a yeah, hundred years. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, there's a book out, Green Mountain Boys of Summer, which was written by uh, well a lot of people in Saber, but Tom Simon is one of the ones that um, really had man the puck on the history of people who play Major League Baseball in Vermont, and they're from every time Dick and Harry place, and you'd be you'd, you'd really be surprised mm -hmm. at how many name players played here, how many people's names or players' names and institutional names and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you've got, you've got a lot. And the Lake Monsters, the same way. We have three, uh, for the three teams of the three years that they've been here so far, mm -hmm. uh, they've had three kids dra drafted. We had, mm -hmm. yeah, three uh, that were drafted. So that's um, that's quite a quite a thing. It's a baseball it, town. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's no question about that, you know. And uh, you know, Tom Messner, um, I, I guess it was announced the other day that he. Uh, has invested in the team mm -hmm. and a part owner. And um, that's interesting. He's a local personality and uh, likable, you know. Um, He's a weatherman. The weather, you know, <laughs> the, the weather in, in Montreal, okay, Montreal, take Montreal as an example. Um, the weather is theoretically terrible. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it isn't really. I like the ski. I like the you know. There's things about the winter that I like a lot. Okay, you're not playing ball. You're not out much. You know that's true. But um, th that's where the fans are. Yeah. You know, in the, in the northeast, or yeah. Yeah. in the central part of the country. You know, but yeah. Um, but the, so the Lake Monsters team is now. Um, they're no longer a minor league affiliate. No, they're not. They're not an affiliate with. They are basically what you call a summer um, league, collegiate league. Uh, what you're watching is pretty good um, baseball, right. and and uh, and you get to know the players. This this is a very fan friendly field and system. Mm -hmm. um, the players are housed by uh, individual families. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's th there are several summer leagues, what they call summer leagues, mm -hmm. and the um, leagues. It was the two leagues. There's a team in in the New England Collegiate Baseball League, which is. Um, out of, out of central Vermont, and um, they've they've been around for about ten or twelve years now, um, maybe more than that. Uh, and um, then there's a team down on White River, which is in that same league, New England mm -hmm. League Baseball League. And the league that we're in is the Futures League, which is geographically similar in the sense of the same area, mm -hmm. and at the same level the only difference with the futures league is the fact that they have a certain percentage of, your, of the team's roster has to be from new england mm -hmm. has to be yeah from new england and um, we've had some really good players that have come through here we had a catcher that was, he was phenomenal um got drafted no not yet he hasn't been eligible okay. yeah, well, he, i think he's eligible this year okay yeah See what happens. Have to look out for it. Yeah, well, that's you know, and then the thing is that you give local kids. The big thing is, we've got a couple of guys, the three guys that got drafted so far. I think two, of, the two of the three are from here, are from like Union District Number Thirty Two, and um, I, I like that. <laughs> it's it's cold. It's like whatever. Um, yeah, and the other uh, the other guy was from um, Stoke. And this town, this team, is so small. Mm -hmm. They merged with Morrisville, mm. 
and it was Stowe Morrisville, and you got a kid get drafted out of the team. They got they got to mur they got to have the unit because they didn't have nine kids. <laughs> there were enough kids to have one team, and you know, I mean that's, that's typical of Vermont. You know, yeah. it's you know a couple small schools they played baseball forever, and they don't want to give it up because they can't get the ninth kid. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but yeah, that's. Um, yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's yeah. Part, yeah. So we got the Lake Monsters. It seems like they're a pretty popular uh, ball club in town. But you're hoping, and it, it sounds like a group of, of folks yeah. that you're working with are, are hoping to bring back the varsity back team. Back the varsity with. team. Yeah, and we've, yeah, tell me a little bit about that. We've been somewhat dormant, you know, for the last little while for a lot of reasons. I mean, you got COVID going around. And it's still, you know, still popping up here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's probably the big one of the things we've got a problem with. Um, the other thing is uh, the, the, you know, recruiting, I, you know, uh, the, the story of varsity re reinstatement, uh, there's a point that, and I'm speaking out of turn here in a sense that I haven't been involved with any of that stuff, but um, the amount of the holdup was that if you have this huge amount, you want a large amount compared to other sports mm -hmm. um, and support it outside of the system, I think uh, it's that doesn't work, you know, and that's where that's where we're at, you know. And again, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm. I'm. Just, I'm just a fan, like everybody else. You know, that's mm -hmm. what the size of it. And um, yeah, it's fun. But you know, and yes, baseball is big in Vermont. Mm -hmm. It's a high school sport. As there's a lot of these schools, the real small schools that have merged not only just baseball, other sports, basketball. Um, is to give kids opportunities in sports. I mean, I mean I, when I first came to Vermont, I, there was 24, I think 24, varsity football teams in, in the state. It had been that group right along for a long time. Mm -hmm. It was a, the South and the North. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as far as football goes, but football's, uh, you need a lot of kids. You mean high school football? High school, yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. And you, I went to a small school, same thing, you mm -hmm. know, you had that, well, they were very competitive, I mean, it's almost crazy. Um, but they, uh, you know, you had that problem. Yeah, and, uh, you gotta have a full team. Yeah, and they can, you know, in other sports, well, not, not really, you gotta have a full team, you know, basically, you yeah. know. And what, what it does is it, it hurts your pitching staff mm -hmm. um, when you don't have enough pitchers, you know. Yeah. Um, and, you know, this kind of thing. So, you know, and you open it up to more kids, sure. you know. Sure. But um, there is a club team right now. At UVM, yeah. 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 So do you think there's any hope that that club team could expand into a varsity team? Or are there, do we have enough guys on that team right now? You know, I've seen them play. I haven't seen them play at all this year. Do they play on this field? Yeah, Centennial yeah. Field. Yeah, they, they use it. That's mm -hmm. their home field. Mm -hmm. And um, that's one thing that we got. That's that little diamond mm -hmm. up there. And this was built a long time ago. The, the main field itself was built in 1906. Mm -hmm. And uh, the grandstand is uh, this uh, area was rebuilt in 1922, uh, the grandstand. The other grandstands on the football field uh, were built at that time. Uh, and then in the 60s, they built the track up at, uh, by the uh, Patrick Gym. And they took the track out of here. It used to run way, that's why you have so much room right here. Mm -hmm. Um, it's because the track came around there. See? Yeah. And that, that's a very, that they, they 
were operating with waivers um, for a long time. What happened is they expanded this out a little bit, not mm -hmm. too awful much, but I mean, it, it satisfied the uh, NCAA, I guess. And uh, it's, you know, it, it, they draw about 4,000 um, here and there, but, uh, you know, the average crowd would be about 2,500, something like that. Yeah. Which is great for. That's a bunch. Yeah. For anything happening in Burlington. That's well, they come in, for, like in this league, they have, they're top of the league on this league as far as attendance goes. They're up against Worcester, Mass. Yeah. They're the smallest town. They're always the smallest town, and whether it's double AA, A, triple A, whatever. Um, they're always the smallest population wise. Mm -hmm. And then you got, comp for summer league, you got competition from Montpelier, who are the kids that are coming from the same schools. There's a, there's a team in Montpelier? Yeah. With a Futures uh, team? Mont yeah, no, it's not Futures League. It's okay. uh, New England Collegiate Baseball League. Okay. Now, they've had a team for about 15 years, I'm going to say. Uh, there's also another team uh, that started up a couple, four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. It's in the same league, you know, there's New England Collegiate. And it's called Upper Valley, right. and that's in uh, in in um, White River, Hartford, Vermont, uh, as opposed to Hartford, Connecticut, mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's uh, and they they uh, they draw fairly well, but um, they don't have like a big grandstand or anything. You know, that's one of the problems, I guess. Yeah. But they draw well, you know. Yeah. Well, but Montpier, see, Montpier has a stadium like this. It's mm -hmm. not not quite as old. It's built in the forties, and it's um, uh, and and they, they draw like mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. they're, they're they're really they're like we are, you know. I mean, they just they draw really well. I yeah. mean, I've been out there. I've been out there a lot of times. You can't get a seat. Yeah. No, I've me too. When I well, when I've well, when I've come to the Lake Monsters games, there's there there's yeah. often it's often a full house. Yeah, yeah, that's it's really fun. And it and and rain doesn't really matter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. torrential downpour coming down, lightning, everything else. Mm -hmm. People still wandering. And is there a game tonight? Yeah, sure, Parker. Kind of one. <laughs> anyway, that's. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, it, and if you go to other ballparks, you, you'll notice that, uh, you know, there's a lot of spots, there's a lot of interest in a lot of towns, but they just don't draw as... There is a Quebec League, right, just north of here. They got a team in St. John's or mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, they, they draw pretty good. And they have a stadium that's, you know, the, there's a lot of ballparks around like this. And um, nothing's really maintained as well as this. But um, it's, you know, it, it's a gem. And it's historic, you know, and it's dropping, you know, it's dripping history. It's, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. Yeah. And when you realize, when you read the book of... Uh, um, on the, on the Green Mountain Boys of Summer, mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's a it's a great it's a, written by the several writers, several authors, um, probably about twelve, fifteen years ago or so, mm -hmm. and um, it it just history of you know, Vermont, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I'm thinking about doing some stuff myself, but. Uh, yeah, see what happens, I guess. Yeah. But it, it's a fun, fun time. Yeah. yeah. So this, this Lake Monsters team, do you know anything about um, the players and coaches that we'll see this year? Or is it the same as the no, it's, the, from it's, last year? Well, it, they're, they usually don't come out with the rosters. Well, we're right around now, actually. Okay. We're, we're, in the, we're going into February, mm -hmm. so... Um, I would imagine they would have the same. See, the the thing about this league mm -hmm. is the the ownership, the local ownership. Okay, with, with minor league ball, 
they put the, say between the lines. Uh, the, the affiliate team, the team that you're affiliated with, makes all the decisions based on the field, mm -hmm. based on uh, what the front office tells them, mm -hmm. usually. Um, and then with this league, uh, there's uh, tryouts and so on, but um, there, the, the operation is more or less um, almost like professional, but it, but it's not, you know, they're not under contract. As a matter of fact, they're playing. They, I think they play, play, pay, pay to play. Mm -hmm. um, These guys are pay to play? Huh? The Lake Monsters are pay yeah, to play? Yeah, yeah, they're a co college team. They're yeah. used to that stuff. It's yeah. like extracurricular, you know. Yeah. Um, so that's... Uh, yeah, they don't. They're not professionals. If they, if they sign the contract, then they're mm -hmm. professionals. You know, yeah. So. Right. Nice. Well, anything that we didn't touch on, Don, that you want to make sure you get to before we wrap well, up? Well, yeah, I'll probably think of about five million things <laughs> go out the door. Um, or somebody will ask me a question on a bus. That happens a lot. I sold a lot of bus tickets to bus drivers. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's funny, you know? <laughs> The guy sitting there, the next game. <laughs> no, it's, no, we laugh about it, but it's true. You know, it's a very, very popular, very, I don't, the, the only thing, the one thing that they really need to improve, and this has been the problem on, uh, since 1906, Mm -hmm. is um, it parking and yeah. that type of thing. Um, the, the, uh, yeah, the, generally speaking, that's, that's the biggest problem going and coming. It's, it, it's, all, it's dangerous. It's a, a, amazing nobody's gotten hurt you know, so far. I, I just ride my bike. That's the only way that <laughs> you yeah. know how, to, how to get there with it. It's a mess. Well, I, get, I, I use a bus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Front yeah. gate, boom. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit of a walk from it, from, but, but still it's... Yeah, not bad in the summertime. They've got to dress it up. You know, it's, they got a lot of space up there. Yeah. And there's some space they own, some they don't. But yeah. I mean... Uh, you know, like what a lot of us were talking about is out beyond where the soccer field is now, mm -hmm. is using that for parking somehow. Yeah. Now out behind back center here. field, yeah. um, uh, you have a lot of room out there. Yeah. There's a cemetery, but there's a lot of, a lot of room, a lot of space. That's uh, I'm not sure some oh, my the city or some, and there's also where the old tennis court used to be. It was a tennis court in 1906. Mm. And then it was a tennis court until 65 when they moved over by Gutterson Fieldhouse and they brought a lot of stuff over there. And uh, there's there's some room back over behind here, a lot of room. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's woods. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, there, there's, that's, it's scary to think about how many people they could get in there if they had adequate parking like mm -hmm. that. Because you see, you got to go, the major parking is over by the hockey rink, over by Gutterson Fieldhouse. Mm -hmm. So you run a um, um, shuttle, you know, between the um, gate, the front gate, up to where the parking lot is. Mm -hmm. Well, you got traffic going, going both ways, mm -hmm. and you know you, you have east, west, and north, south, and yeah. you know it's just like the kids like it; they like to ride the bus, yeah. you know, and um, that's that's part of it, you know. That's, yeah. But that's that's the the major complaint. It's probably yeah. the only complaint, I, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Otherwise. Um, but you know, you got new chairs, no new, new seats. Yeah. 2012, uh, new seats, new this, new that. The press box is still, you know, leaves a bit to be desired. <laughs> um, We're very lucky. It's a beautiful field. It, yeah. it, and, and, and the big thing about this, 
is it's such a good field that had such a front office production. Mm -hmm. In other words, it, it doesn't get any better. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'd like to see somehow plan to make parking better, <laughs> make the experience better. In other words, the in and out um, stuff. Exactly. You, you know, you got a lot of empty woods up there. You know, mm -hmm. you know, it's. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a, that's about the only bellyache that anybody has. The yeah. food's pretty good. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think yeah. know, ballpark food. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, and oh. you've got a lot of specialty stuff that they've done over the last few years. You know, um, involving kids and all this other stuff. You know, it's, oh yeah, it's a fun production. Yeah. Now I want a hot dog. <laughs> all right, Don. Thank you so much for coming on and yeah, chatting yeah. us today. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to do some more. Awesome. Yep, this is just the start. And, uh, <laughs> and just, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for tuning in to Town Meeting TV. My name is Bobby Lucier. So long.